Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install some more Minecraft Java shaders for version 1.17 and this is the latest release that just came out recently and it's called the Caves and Cliffs update and this is version 1.17 and at the moment some of you might realize that with Optifine which we used to use to install shader packs Unfortunately, the preview version does not allow us to install shaders or mods. So this is a good alternative to that. And this is called Iris Shaders. And I'm going to show you how to download this as well, which will allow us to download and install additional shaders for Minecraft Java Edition 1.17. In my previous video, I did show you how to do this and how to install shaders for Minecraft Java 1.17, but I only showed you Silders vibrant shaders volumetric edition and today i'm going to show you a few more shader packs just so you can see what all of them look like when they're running on the iris shaders platform as you can see right now i've got a different shader pack installed let me just change the time of day there we go so as you can see we've got the sun's reflection coming in there on the water and we've also got this cool looking lens flare effect which i think looks amazing as you can see there, really changes the game. The water looks amazing. You can see the fishes there. You can see the ripples as well. You see through the water. And then obviously you've got the sun's effects there as well. And to top it off, the clouds are moving, as you can see over there on the top. Really looks nice. Definitely worth checking this one out. And let me just show you what this one's called. If I go to options, video settings, click on shader packs now this one is called beyond belief and this is the version 1.2.0 so i'm going to show you how to download that and install it as well as all these other shaders as well which i've got here listed and i will leave a link in the description below for all of these shader packs so you don't have to go searching for them you can just click the link and just download them that's that easy okay so as you can see i've got beyond belief legacy version enabled here now the good thing about the iris shaders platform is that if i click on another shader pack and then click on apply it will change it on the fly and show me what the game looks like right there and right then okay so if i click on apply as you can see it's changed it so now it's showing me what bsl shaders looks like which is really cool it does take a while to load up the all the data there but it does give you a good indication of what the shader pack is going to look like so if i click on continuum as well apply that as you can see, it looks different to PSL and the other one. And then let me click on SUS Renewed. There we go, as you can see, that also looks different. So let's check out BSL now. I'm gonna click on Apply and then Done. Go back. Now, this is also one of my top three favorite shader packs, as well as Silders. And PSL has always been one of my favorites. It's always run really well on any system I've tried this on. And it hasn't been that resource heavy and i think it's re a really nice shader pack to try out and have in your library as you guys can see we do have the clouds moving as well the sun looks different to the previous shader we don't have as much lens flare as we did in the previous shader pack we do have a bit there as you can see but not as much so depending on your preference if you don't like the lens flare from the previous shader you can go and opt for bsl as well As you can see, we've got the reflection there of the sun in the water. Looks really nice. And we've got the shadows there as well. So this is a another classic shader pack that people would know about and have checked out as well. All right, now let's go ahead and change this to the other shader pack, which is called Continuum. Let's click on Apply. Done. And as you can see, the water has changed as well. Got a different water texture there. Slightly different color as well. Not so heavy on the sun's effect as well. We've got a nice rounded sun, which looks quite realistic as well. Got different looking clouds, as you guys can see. And this one also runs fine. I haven't noticed any performance issues with this one either. 
it does take slightly longer to load all the world data, but that's about it. Let's change the time again today. There we go. But yeah, this one also looks cool, guys. Definitely worth checking out and add to your shader pack library. I do like the clouds as well. And if you're looking for something different to BSL your, or your board of BSL or Silders, then definitely give this one a go. All right, and finally, let's go ahead and select the last shader pack on the list. And this one is called Seuss Renewed version 1.0.1. Let's apply that. And this one actually runs smoother compared to Continuum. As you guys can see, I am getting a nice frame rate there. 60 FPS plus. It's got a nice reflection there on the water. Clouds also do look really nice. And it's just started raining. Alright, let's change that. Uh, let me just set it to day again. So yeah, this is another one to check out, guys. It's really nice. It runs really smoothly, as you guys can see. Good alternative to a BSL and Silders as well. Obviously, we've got a different color scheme going on with the trees as well. I think it looks more vibrant from the looks of it. And obviously, the clouds do look really nice. Nice and realistic. We're not seeing too much of the sun coming in. And as you guys can see, compared to Continuum, this is running slightly better. So if you haven't got uh, a powerful system, you can give this one a go. So hopefully you should get more frame rates on this one compared to the others. Alright, so now I'm going to show you guys how to download all of the shader packs. And then I'm going to show you how to install them. As well as download and install the Iris shaders onto your game latest version, Minecraft Java 1.17. Okay, so the first thing we need to make sure is that we do have the latest version of Java installed. And this is very important because what Java is going to do is it's going to allow us to install the Iris shaders without any problems and it's going to make everyone's life so much easier. So if you haven't already done so, just go to your internet browser, just go to java.com, click on Java download, Click on Agree and Start Free Download and it should start downloading for you. Just click on Open File. It will come up with a uh, warning message to go ahead. So just click on OK. And I'm just going to close this internet browser down. I'm going to click on Install. Let's wait for that to finish quickly. As you guys can see, it says Installing Java. Alright, so now it's telling me that I've successfully installed Java. Uh, we can go ahead and close this down. And now if we go to our internet browser and start typing in Minecraft Iris Shaders. And we need to go to the first link, which is on the search results. And it's this one, irisshaders.net. And this is a really cool application, guys. This is a nice alternative for Optifine. Now let me just quickly go to the Optifine website as well. So let's go to the main Optifine website. If I go to downloads and if we have a look at this, it says Minecraft version 1.17 preview versions. Now you can go ahead and install this. However, if we click on change log, we can see that it's not compatible with Forge. And the main thing is that it says not working shaders so the shaders are not working with this preview version which is why we're having to use an alternate program to install shaders for our minecraft version 1.17 all right so let's close this down and go back to the iris shaders website and let's click on download now click on download universal jar all right so it should download fairly quickly it's only 885 kilobytes as you can see there Alright, so as you can see, I've put the Iris installer 
onto my desktop. Now the next step we need to do is right click on this, click on open with and then select Java platform SE binary. So if I select that and you should get this iris installer screen. Now if we go ahead and change the game version to 1.17, if you select iris and sodium on here it won't work, it should pop up with an error message which says it's not compatible so just click on OK and on the drop down for edition just select iris standalone and then click on install. Make sure that it says game version 1.17 there and then click on install. It should say installation succeeded so just go ahead and close that down. Now if we open up our Minecraft launcher you should see on the bottom left here it says iris standalone as well as the latest release and latest snapshot. Now if we go to installations you can also see it there so we'll have the latest release 1.17 and the iris standalone as well. Do make sure that your version of Minecraft is the latest. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is just click on play because we're actually going to make sure that we have we do have a shader packs folder. So let's click on play there. It's going to download something for the first time when you run this. So just wait for that to finish. It's only 21 megabytes as you can see. Alright, and as you can see guys, at the bottom left here it says Minecraft version 1.17, Fabric modded, and if we go to options, click on video settings, you should have an option here which says shader packs, so just click on that. There's nothing in here, so we do need to add our shader packs in here, and if we just click on open shader pack folder, it should create this shader pack folder if it already doesn't exist in your Minecraft directory. And then what you need to do now is if you just close this down and if we go back into the game and click on done and then just quit out of the game. Now while we're in the Minecraft launcher what we need to do is if we click on this folder icon as you can see on any one of these two links here it will open up your Minecraft installation directory so if we just close down the launcher for now if we scroll down to where it says shader packs here I'm just going to open that and I'm just going to minimize this a bit and I've already gone ahead and downloaded all of the shader packs that I showed you in the video and I will leave a link in the description for all of them so you can just click on them and start downloading them with no problem so I'm going to go ahead and just highlight all of these packs and then place them into the shader packs folder as you can see. So it should be in user app data, roaming, minecraft and then shader packs folder there. I'm going to open up the launcher again. So making sure iris standalone is selected, I'm going to click on play. You can also click on installation and click on play over here. And now it will allow you to select a shader pack basically let's wait for that to load up so let's go back into the game let's go into video settings shader packs and I'm gonna select beyond belief apply done I'm gonna go to single player click on create new world new world just name it anything going to go with the default option survival and normal difficulty and then click on create new world and hopefully this should load up with the shader pack we just downloaded and installed and as you guys can see we are in the game and immediately you can see that it is showing us the beyond belief shaders just installed and it looks really nice as you can see there. And we can go ahead and change it obviously while we're in the game. So click on video settings, go to shader backs, select BSL, apply that. 
done. Now we are playing with BSL enabled. Let's go back, change it again to Continuum. And finally, let's go and select the other one, which is Zeus Renewed. So hopefully you guys have found this video useful. If you have any comments or queries, please do leave them in the comment section below. If you do have any other shader packs which you think we should all check out, do also leave that in the comment section below for others to see that and they can also try it out please also do give this video a like if you found this video useful and also please do subscribe to this channel to help support it help it grow and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching